shrine of Our Lady of Martyrs, Orisville, New York. Here, in the Mohawk village called Osanenan, at the Beaver Dam, the ground was stained with the blood of three Catholic martyrs. Here, three Jesuit missionaries, Father Isaac Joes and two brother Jesuits, endured extreme torture and were killed. Here, Father Isaac Jogues, lay brother René Goupil, and lay brother Jean Lalande earned sainthood through torture and martyrdom for spreading the peace, love, and forgiveness of Jesus to Native Americans. Here, too, along with these Catholic missionaries, a group of 40 Yoran converts to the faith, chiefs and members, were also tortured and martyred. The horrific details surrounding these martyrs have been written, but here, on this sacred shrine, I'll let the grounds, signposts, statues, memorials, and Great Holy Coliseum speak for themselves. Along with the martyrs, this shrine is also dedicated as the birthplace of Kateri Tekawitha, Lily of the Mohawks. She is the first Native American recognized as a saint. St. Isaac Jogues, founder of Catholicity in New York State, at this place, named Mission of the Martyrs, because he was tortured and enslaved over a year, 1642 through 1643, his head cleft by a tomahawk in 1646, first to traverse the Empire State to Holy Sacrament to carve and venerate the cross on trees, to visit Albany, seal the Hudson to Manhattan Island, to teach Indian children of this Mohawk Valley the holy name of Jesus.
Oh, Lord, have mercy. He really didn't mean that.
the northeast corner was a Nanan Mohawk village. St. Isaac Jogues and Rene Gupal were tortured, or captive, and martyred. Here St. John the Lam died, and Kanteri Tekawitha was born. This cross is a symbol of the planting of the faith in New York by Father Jogues in 1642. Here is another beautiful signpost on the grounds of Orizel, the Most Holy Trinity, which says, We adore Thee, and through Mary we entreat Thee, make all people one in the faith, and give them courage to profess it. The Hill of Prayer Father Jogues and Rene Gupal used to come here to pray somewhere along that somewhere along the present Via Crux Saint Rene was tomahawked for Christ. This is the site of the first Jesuit mission in the Mohawk Valley. Holy Trinity Mission, founded by St. Isaac Jogues, 1646. Other Jesuit missions, Sante Marie Etionan Tong Wan, near Sprakers, 1667. St. Pierre Eganda near Fanda, 1669. The Mohawk village of Osanunan, three great saints were martyred here. Saint René Goupil, September 29, 1642. Saint Isaac Jogues, October 18, 1646. Saint John Lalan, October 19, 1646. The Jesuit fathers, Brassani, 1644 and Ponchet 1653 were tortured here. General John Clark, Dr. John Gilmari Shea, John Frey, and R.A. Grider identified this site as Osananan, where the martyrs died. Father John McEnroe, James Horrigan, and Joseph Lausance erected the first memorial cross in 1884. Kateri Tekawitha, the saintly lily of the Mohawks, born here at Osananan, 1656. Baptized at Gandawangu near Fanda, 1676. Died at Kofnawangu in Canada, 1680. The Hurons Paul, Stephen, and Eustace were tortured here in 1642, as was William Couture, a Frenchman.
help turn our backs on all evil and walk in her footsteps, sharing our love and Christian concern with others. Let us reverence, as she did, your mystical presence in the poor and suffering. Through Kateri's power, intercession, we can confidently ask you to grant us this special favor we ask for in her name. Mention your intentions. Share your healing and peace, especially with my family, friends, and sick, whom we commend to your loving care. We ask this through your crucified and risen Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, the eternal Word, who lives with you forever and ever. Amen.
mother of sorrows, I beseech thee, by the bitter agony thou didst endure at the foot of the cross, offer to the Eternal Father in my name, thy beloved Son, Jesus, all covered with blood and wounds and satisfaction for my sins, for the needs of the Holy Church, the conversion of sinners, the relief of the souls in purgatory, and for the special grace I now implore. Hail, Mother, pierce me through in my heart, each wound renew of my Savior crucified. Mary, most sorrowful Mother of Christians, pray for us.
martyr's shrine of America. It was here that America's only canonized martyrs, the Jesuit priest, Father Isaac Jogues, the Jesuit lay brother, René Goupil, and John Lalonde shed their blood for Christ in 1642 and 1646. Here also, in this Indian village of Osananan, the Lily of the Mohawks, Kateri Tekawitha, was born in 1656. Built in 1930, this Coliseum of Our Lady of Martyrs has been a place of spiritual refreshment, light, and peace for the many thousands who have come to pray here where the martyrs died. We appreciate your visit to Orisville, dear friend. May you find peace and blessing in this beautiful and holy place. The shrine is maintained only by the generosity of pilgrims and visitors. We are grateful to those who help us shoulder the financial burden. Here also, in the Indian village of Osanenan, the Lily of the Mohawks, Kateri Tekawitha, was born in 1656.
ravine. Rene Goupil, first companion of St. Isaac Joe's, was martyred for the faith September 29, 1642. His body was buried by the loving hands of Father Joe's somewhere in this place. Please proceed on foot. After Rene and I had been captives in Osananan, Orisville, for six weeks, September 1642, we lost all hope of again seeing three rivers. We considered one another at this decree of divine providence, and kept preparing ourselves for anything that God might ordain. Rene evidently did not perceive, as clearly as I, our present peril. For this reason I kept warning him to be prepared for the worst. sad hearts, Rene and I went beyond the village to play more reverently apart from its noise. Two Indian youths came after us, ordering us to go back to our longhouse. I sensed some foreboding of what would happen, and said to Rene, My dear brother, let us commend ourselves to our Lord and to our good mother, the Blessed Virgin. I am afraid these Indians have some evil design. <laughs> A few minutes earlier, Rene and I had offered ourselves to our Lord with intense devotion. We begged God to accept our lives and our blood and to unite them to his life and his blood for the salvation of these tribes. We were returning to the village praying our rosary of which we had already said for decades. We paused near the gate of the stockade to hear what the two Iroquois had to say. One of them drew a tomahawk from under his blanket and dealt Rene a blow on the head. 
Rene fell prostrate to the ground, uttering the holy name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. We had often reminded each other to end our speech in our lives with the most holy name. In our lives with that most holy name. Sang as best I could the psalms which the church chants for the dead. 
After all, I found nothing. I searched the woods on the opposite bank. All, all in vain. The young braves had taken the body up and dragged it to an adjoining wood, where during the fall and winter it became the food of the dog, the crow, and the fox. When I had been told in the spring that the body had been dragged there, I went several times without finding it. Finally, on the fourth trip, I found Renee's head and some half-gnawed bones. These I buried. Reverently did I kiss them as the bones of a martyr of Jesus Christ. I give René this title of martyr not only because he was killed by the enemies of God and of his church out of ardent love of his neighbor by placing himself in open peril for the love of God but precisely because he was killed for prayer and expressly for making the sign of the Holy Cross. surrounds us everywhere, their holiness in the air, their voices murmuring in these trees and brooks, their blood upon the ground, their bones beneath the flowers. As you kneel before the crucifix, pray for your own loved ones who have gone before you, and ask for yourself that great gift of God, a holy and happy death. read the wonderful story of America's first canonized martyr, St. René Goupil. Here will you stand. The saint was agonizingly buried by the loving hands of his padre, Father Jogues. Here rests Brother René's blessed remains in a ravine which angels seem to have fashioned. You stand in a reliquary, graced with pines and hemlocks, and carpeted with lilies hiding a secret and precious grave.
Jesus, I cast myself on my knees in your sight, and with the most fervent desire of my soul I pray and beseech you that you would impress upon my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity, with true repentance for my sins, and a firm desire of amendment, whilst with deep affection and grief of soul I ponder within myself and mentally contemplate your five most precious wounds, having before my eyes that which David the prophet put in your own mouth concerning you, O good Jesus, they have pierced my hands and feet, they have numbered all my bones.
Thank mm-hmm. you.